Hey guys, Honest Hour Mitch. Following up on the video I made quite a while ago on the issues I was having with my Leader 725 frame. I've recently received a lot of feedback, comments, and for the most part, support from the fixed gear community. So this is going to kind of now go into what happened, what the solution was, and whether or not I was happy with that solution. So just to kind of recap the issue, on the down on the seat tube uh, going down to the bottom bracket of the frame, the airfoil came loose from the circular tube. Inside of the frame, uh, which bears the weight um, of your seat, um, this was causing a creaking sound, uh, and it occurred on my bicycle more or less uh, within you know weeks of getting it. Um, and it was it turned out to be a faulty frame. Upon my initial email, I did receive some resistance from Leader in regards to my claim. They tried to say it wasn't valid because I'd bought it through their Coghouse eBay online store, um, yet nowhere on the site did they disclose anything about a lack of warranty um, or that the bike was not uh, li or the bike was not eligible for their factory warranty, uh, which would cover that. That being said, the issue that was with my frame uh, was one that um, could have caused potential damage uh, to myself if that had a catastrophic failure. Um, all things considered, after multiple emails back and forth, creation of my previous video, uh, they were reluctant to offer me a, another 725 frame in a color that I really didn't want. Um, I you know, initially asked them, could you guys sell me a, a demo model? I'm willing to add money on top of that. You know, Fortunately, I you know, was in the position financially that I could afford to do that. Obviously, that's not something that everybody has the liberty to be able to do, um, and that I'm very thankful for. Um, after, you know, about a week's worth of email back and forth with one of the area sales managers, um, he said that they could offer me uh, either uh, their one of their uh, Heritage Pursuit frames in steel, uh, or I could pony up an extra $500 for the Kigero frame. Um, I took the Kigero frame option, and they were paid for shipping both ways, I was very pleased with through in the soft awesome shirt which you really can't see uh, but it has a leader logo on it and some other stuff um, and uh, that was the resolution to it um, I hadn't really intended on spending $850 on a bicycle frame um, but like I said previously I was in the position uh, and financially um, lucky enough to be able to do so and uh, that's what they offered is, is the resolution to it. Um, I will do a full review of my Kagero frame, uh, the experience I've had with it, the build quality. Um, I've put about 12,000 miles on it, uh, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that long-term review.